We are not completely sure of the origin of Valentine's Day, but it is known that this holiday in history contains traces of the Christian Church of Ancient Rome. Valentine's Day can be traced all the way back to the pagan festival called Lupercalia. Lupercalia was a religious festival that was celebrated possibly even before the Romans. The holiday was celebrated from the 13th to 15th of February. People weren't sure of how the holiday came to be, and they weren't completely sure which god they were even honoring by celebrating Lupercalia. It was said that either Lupa, the she-wolf of Rome, or Faunus, the fertility god, was the god that they were celebrating. Like most other holidays to people, it was just another reason to have a good time. The festival would start with the sacrifice of animals. Later in the festival, women would be slapped by the skin of the sacrificed animals to ensure that the coming year would be fertile. Around 500 AD, the church decided that they wanted to Christianize the Lupercalia festival into a Christian holiday because it was originally a pagan festival. Pope Gelasius then declared February 14th St. Valentine's Day. In the 4th century, around the time of em Emperor Constantine of Rome, Christianity was made the official re religion of the Roman Empire. The idea was to get the pagans to convert to Christianity by taking their customs away from them. If they couldn't celebrate Lupercalia without being, becoming a Christian, some pagans would convert. There were many saints back in the time of ancient Rome. Historians are unsure of which Saint Valentine's Day is named after. The most common legend is a priest named Saint Valentine that would secretly marry couples illegally. The ruler at the time, Claudius II, wanted a strong military and did not want love to get in the way of his strong army. Therefore, the empire banned marriages. Saint Valentine would take in couples that were in love and secretly marry them. When he was caught for doing this, he got put into jail and sentenced to death. While he was in jail, the legend says that he fell in love with his jailer's daughter. On the day he was going to be put to death, which was also February 14th, he left her a love note and signed it as, From Your Valentine. Cupid is probably one of the most well-known symbols of Valentine's Day. In Rome, he was worshipped as the god of love. He is not only a religious part of Valentine's Day, but it is seen in popular culture. People will sometimes joke when they see someone they are attracted to that Cupid's arrow of love hit them. There are also parts in movies today where Cupid plays a role in making people fall in love. Another way Cupid is well known is because of the Cupid Wedding Chapel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Cupid has to do with love, so people decided to make it into a place where people can get married. Some people really hate Valentine's Day, either because they don't want to pay money for a holiday they don't think is important at all, or because they are single and it makes them feel depressed. The movie Valentine's Day was released in 2010, a few days before Valentine's Day. The movie portrays couples and how they handle Valentine's Day, not only couples but people who are alone on Valentine's Day and how they feel about the holiday. The video clip you are about to see shows a person from the movie that doesn't particularly like Valentine's Day. What happened? It has been proven that 15% of women on Valentine's Day send themselves flowers. 73% of the people buying flowers on Valentine's Day are men, while the other 27% are women. 64% of men don't plan anything for their girlfriends or wives. Also, 3% of pet owners buy their pets presents. Valentine's Day sells the second largest amount of cards after the well-known holiday Christmas. Another commonly thought of thing when people hear Valentine's Day is candy. Some specifically think of the candy hearts that have sayings on them and come in small boxes. About 8 billion hearts will be produced this year for Valentine's Day. That's enough candy to stretch from Rome, Italy to Valentine, Arizona 20 times and back again. People will usually give their loved ones some form of chocolate on Valentine's Day. More than 36 million heart-shaped boxes are usually sold. 
Hundreds of years ago, it was said that Valentine's Day was originated. Today, it is still celebrated with more traditions and the holiday lives on. Today was a fairy tale, you were the prince. I used to be a damsel in distress. You took me by the hand and you picked me up at six. Today was a fairy tale.